Hi everyone, welcome back to NoSkit. So let's solve one another interesting question from Uber Frequent 52 problem. So let's see what the question says and how we'll solve this problem. Okay, so today we are going to solve print binary tree, right? So basically, as the question itself says, we have to print some binary tree. Now, what are the rules? Given the root of the binary tree, construct zero index m cross n string matrix result that represent a formatted layout of the tree. The formatted layout of the matrix should be constructed using the following rules. Okay, the height of the tree is height and the number of rows m should be equal to height plus 1. The number of columns n should be equal to 2 height plus 1 minus 1. Okay. Place the root node in the middle of the top row. More formally, at location this. Perfect. For each node that has been placed in a matrix, result RC, place its left at this position and place its right at this position. Right. Continue this process until all the nodes in the tree have been placed. Any empty cell should contain empty string right return the constructed matrix result okay so we are given some binary tree and we have to return the matrix representation of this binary tree so if let's take one example and let's understand it what the question is actually saying right okay so this is a tree given right this is a tree given now question is saying that we'll have to return one matrix we'll have to return one matrix whose number of rows will be equal to height plus 1, right? And number of columns will be equals to 2 height plus 1 minus 1, right? But let's see, this is 0, right? This is 1, this is 2. So according to this, the height will be 2 and 2 plus 1 will be 3, right? 2 plus 1 will be 3. And the number of columns will be uh, height is height is 2 2 plus 1 is 8 it will be 7 right so let's create one matrix with three rows and seven columns so this is our height this is our this these are the number of rows these are the number of columns now second point is first of all calculate the height right because height will be needed to know the size of the matrix so first point will be calculate height after calculate height create matrix create matrix okay done now after this what we are saying that at this position root should be at the mid at the mid of the first row mid of the first row so if this is one this one should come at 0 plus 7 start plus n divided by 2 will be 3 so this one should come at this 3 right so this is our root node now this position is for this part is for left subtree this part is for right subtree now we have to do the same thing for this right so now at this point at this point we are at this 2 and 4 right starting point is 0 ending point is 2 starting point is 0 ending point is 2 right so what we are saying we'll again put this 2 at the mid of this so 2 plus 0 divided by 2 will be 1 so what where we are putting it we are putting it at this position right again when you'll see we have we have right and we have left so this is this part is for left this part is for right so left is null so we don't need to take care of this left right for now let's understand how we'll insert this 4 so what we can do what we can do for this 4 we have this 2 comma 2 start is equals to 2 and is equals to 2 right so 2 plus 2 divided by 2 will be 2 that means it should come at this position so let's insert 4 at this position right now after this after this let's come to the right of it so now the light the right subtree have this portion right so start is at 4 and is at 6 so start plus end divided by 2 will be 5 right so that means this 3 should come at this fifth position which is this right so if you if you'll see from the root we incremented the row whenever we are going to its left or right we incremented the row by 1 right and this this will will updated according to the position of our root right so can i say that i'll start my dfs from this point i'll start my dfs from root right i'll pass zero i'll pass zero let me create uh, that matrix again so what i'm saying i'll start from root i'll start from zeroth row right i'll start from zeroth row and the start for this point the start for this root will be 0 and and will be 
seven. Okay, and will be six for this zero and six, right? Okay. So now what I am saying that I'll start DFS from this configuration. After this, what I'll do? I'll calculate the mid. I'll calculate the mid. Mid will be three. I'll store the mid at the at this array, right? So let's say this is our result array. So result zero comma three will contain this row, right? So I'll store this one to our matrix. Now after this, I'll make two calls. I'll make two calls. One for the left one, one for the right one. So for left one, I'm saying after inserting one, the left will have this portion, the right will have this portion. So what I'm saying, I'll give root dot left to it, right? I'm saying I'll give root dot left to it. The row will get incremented by one, so it will be one, right? And start will be same from zero. And end will be this mid minus one, which is two, right? So this will be same as S. This will be mid minus one, and this will be row plus one. And for right child, what I'm saying, I'll call the DFS for right. So root dot right, 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 and I'll pass next row, so which will be one. I'll pass the starting point. Starting will be nothing but mid plus one, so which will be four. This will be mid plus one, and then I'm saying. That I'll pass the end, so end will be as it is, which will be six, right? So these calls I'll be making, and I'll keep on storing the values into a list. Okay, so after inserting all these values, after inserting all these values, all the other values should be empty string. All the other values will be empty string. So let's try to code this. So first of all, we should know the height. So let's calculate a height. So let's calculate. Uh, let's create one function calculate height so let me create one function calculate height it will return integer right so it will take tree node root so what we are saying if root is equals to is equals to null we'll return 0 right else we'll return 1 plus maximum of whatever the left is returning or the right is returning right so dfs of root dot left comma okay calculate height of root dot left dot root dot right so this will be our calculate height function after calculating height we should know the number of rows and the number of columns right so we talked about starting the height from zero starting the height from zero we saw that this is a zero this is one this is two so the rows was height plus one, which is three. But from this function, we'll be getting three only. So rows will be same as the height, right? And columns will be math dot power of two comma number of rows minus one, right? This will be our columns. And finally, we'll convert it into integer value, right? So now we know the number of rows and columns present, right? So now let's create the result list. So let's create a result list is equals to new array list perfect for each of the row we'll create one list right and we'll insert empty list at each of the place so uh, column dot add this right and at the end after this we'll add it to our result result dot add column right and then finally we can return result so if we'll if we'll try to run it and we'll see every position has empty string right so now what we want to do we want to we want to set the values of each of the node corresponding to each of its correct position right so let's do it so now we can call dfs right this dfs will take root it will take uh, first index which will be row it will take starting point and it will take ending point which will be column minus one so let's call the dfs and it will also take result right so let's call the dfs it will uh, it will not return anything so dfs root row start and and the result now what we are saying if root is equals to is equals to null we'll do nothing we can simply return right otherwise we'll calculate mid how we are calculating mid start plus end divided by 2 right or we can okay start and end divided by 2 and then finally we can set the value so result dot get current row plus set the mid value with the root value because the root value will be integer we'll have to append it with the string 
after this what we can do we can call our dfs function for left one right for left one row plus one start will be start only and will be mid minus one and we can call the function for a right one root dot right it will be a row plus one only comma start will be mid plus one and our end right and finally yes this is done let's try to run it we'll be having result right now let's try to run it so we are getting the correct response let's try to submit it and it is accepted right so basically again we modified our dfs search into something which we wanted to achieve right which was asked in the question so first we calculated the height then we uh, def we cal we defined our result list right we defined a result list and then finally we call the DFS and we appended everything uh, in place as asked in the question. Let's try to discuss the time complexity and the space complexity. So the time complexity will be if you will see for calculating the height we traverse all the n nodes right for calculating the height we traverse all the n nodes and then again for the DFS for putting all the nodes in their uh, correct position we, cal we took again O of n time right so this is for DFS. So the overall time complexity is going to be O of n and the space complexity will be O of n for stack space. Other than this, we, were, we have not used any extra space. The list we were using for result, that is a mandatory thing, right? We cannot avoid that result. So other than that result, we have not utilized any uh, space. So the space complexity for this will be O of n. So I hope you understood the problem. That's it for this video. Let's meet in another video with another interesting question. Till then, keep learning. Thank you.